Some women over 40 like being touched from behind, which shows how important it is to understand and adapt to changing sexual tastes so that both people are happy. Studies have shown that women who smile are more attractive and guys who smile less are hotter. Higher estrogen levels are linked to bigger breasts, which could change the size of your vaginal opening and your ability to have children. Based on this link, breast size may show how healthy your reproductive system is. Studies have shown that a woman's sexual desire peaks at age 22. Also, demanding ejaculation on certain body parts can be a sign of a past of satisfying sexual experiences. Understanding these factors can help you and your partner communicate and enjoy sexual activity more. The average vaginal opening is 8 to 10 centimeters, which means that the average penis size is good for women. Also, wearing red might make women look better, which could lead to more dates. Psychological stimulation helps women get an orgasm, which shows how important it is to be emotionally connected and mentally engaged during sexual situations. Stoicism teaches people to be self-controlled, moderate, and respectful in all areas of their lives, even when it comes to sexuality. Stoicism puts virtue above temporary pleasures and thinks that morality and reason are the way to sexual satisfaction. This way of thinking encourages people to be mindful, communicate clearly, and come to an understanding so that everyone can find happiness, respect, and boundaries. Even though women don't like being compared to other women, they do it sometimes. This trend shows how complicated it is for women to understand themselves and their social relationships. Men who remember things about women without being asked show that they care and understand them better, which makes women want to be with them. A lot of women want their dreams to come true. 75% of women who ask questions already know the answers. Since women value honesty and being real, this trend makes it even more important to be honest and open when you talk to people. Women can also remember the faces of beautiful people, especially other women, who they think might be competitors or threats. Researchers have found that when women are ovulating, they like guys with more masculine facial features because they think those traits show that the person is genetically fit. When they're not in the ovulatory phase, women may like guys who are warmer and more caring, because they associate those traits with kindness and social skills. Birth control pills can change a woman's hormone levels, which can make her less interested in certain guys. Birth control pills may make people more violent, raise testosterone levels, and increase the number of divorces, but women who use them tend to prefer men who are more manly. Women also look for guys who are funny and can make potential partners laugh, since laughter makes relationships stronger. Most people agree that shared laughter is an important part of happy relationships. Women take care of their looks to feel good about themselves, make other women envious, and draw men, to get men's attention. They might act flirtier and more appealing around attractive men. Because they love their partner, women may be willing to give up things to show their devotion and loyalty. Women can feel strong lust and urges, even if they don't say it. Researchers have found that women with more hip fatty acids may be smarter, which goes against the ideas that intelligence and body size are opposites. A lot of women in the US are pregnant at any given time, which brings up problems of fertility and reproduction. Women like men who have ideal bodies, like those with thin waists, broad shoulders, and well-defined chests that look like great hunters. A lot of women worrying about how they look sexually, even though it's socially unacceptable to do so. This is a sign of body image and performance problems. It's interesting that some women will go on dates for free food, which shows that people date for different reasons. When women let their guard down emotionally, compassion and understanding can help them feel better and connect with others emotionally. When you love your best friend more than your partner, for example, you need to understand and accept other people's feelings. Women's fun teasing and cute nicknames are often signs that they are interested in a relationship. People who are good at business try to attract 40-year-old women who may be interested in their shared success and desire to travel the world. Women like partners who are aware of their body language, which shows how they feel and what they want without words. The smell of a partner can strongly affect sexual attraction, making it easier to fall in love and stay together. When women ovulate, their desire and excitement can rise, making it a unique time to get close to someone. Some women are allergic to male sperm, which shows how different women's bodies react in different ways. This shows how important it is to know about and deal with health problems in close relationships. 
Women are more likely to have mood swings because of changes in their hormones and how they feel. Women may focus more on people who ignore them than on people who interact with them, which shows how complicated female behavior and social relationships can be. When they're feeling bad, men like to stroke their faces, while women like to touch their arms, hair, clothes, jewelry, and necks. Even though women have twice as many pain receptors as men, their strength and endurance help them to handle more pain. The way women look shows what they're feeling and thinking. 80% of women who are upset choose to be quiet to show their sadness. Since social women dress well for different events, copying their style might be a nice thing to do. Unlike men, women often compliment each other without meaning to. Women are more interested in a man's sense of humor than in how he looks. In most countries, men live shorter lives than women, which shows that there are health disparities. When you ask a woman a question, it's usually best to be honest, since she might already know the answer. It's funny that women with higher IQs may have a harder time finding compatible partners. This shows how society has wrong ideas about how intelligence and marriage are related. When women solve problems, they use both sides of their brain. While men only use the left side, there are studies that show guys wear more of their clothes than women do. A lot of different kinds of research have been done on women's lives and habits. A study found that women usually keep secrets for 47 hours and 14 minutes. This shows how complicated relationships are and how trust and privacy work in groups. A big problem for women's health is sadness. About one in four women will have severe depression at some point in their lives. This harsh truth shows how important it is to have strong mental health programs just for women. Heart disease and cancer are the leading causes of death for women in the United States. This shows how important it is to put women's health first around the world. Indian women wear nose rings to show if they are married, which helps us learn more about their lives. This cultural heritage shows how customs are woven into society and lets us look at tradition and identity in different cultural settings. Looking into how relationships work in society reveals that women's relationships, especially those with men, have an impact on their mental health. This shows how social networks that support each other help women deal with problems and feel happy. It's interesting that women have more taste buds than guys. This biological difference may explain why people have different tastes in food, showing how complicated human nature is. Most people fall in love seven times before they get married. These results put light on how complicated romantic relationships are and how romantic self-discovery happens over and over again. Studies of how people act have shown that women are more likely to talk about personal things with guitar players. This event shows how outside factors can change social behavior, which helps us learn more about how people connect with each other. The depth and variety of women's experiences can be seen in their health results, cultural practices, and relationships with other people. These results help us understand how gender affects relationships and work toward more fair and inclusive cultures. Most of the world's richest women got their money from their dads or husbands, except for one. Inequality between men and women in terms of income and opportunities is sparked by this event, which is a reflection of past socioeconomic trends. Venus, which is the only planet in our solar system named after a female god, stands for beauty. Many moons and stars have feminine names, which shows a link between mythology and astronomical naming. Studies in psychology and behavior have shown that when women are upset, they act in different ways. Notably, women who are sad wear jeans twice as often, which shows how fashion can affect how people feel. Arguments, not just fights, can show how emotionally involved people are in a relationship. Research shows that women are more likely than men to fight with their partners, and when arguments happen less. People want to be in a relationship less, it shows how complex the connection is between how people talk to each other and how close they feel emotionally when they're with each other. Even though people's actions are complicated, bad facts show problems with the system as a whole. Every 90 seconds, a woman dies because of problems during birth. This shows how important it is to have programs around the world to help mothers get medical care. Face recognition skills are better for women than for men, which tells us more about how people think. Changes in a woman's voice pitch, especially when she's with someone she likes, can be a sign of nonverbal communication and how they interact with others. Studies on attraction and choosing a mate have shown that gender-specific choices affect people's romantic goals.
Men worrying about their weight, while women worrying about their height. Social norms and evolutionary psychology affect how people connect with each other and choose partners. Evolutionary ideas explain why women choose older men to help them get resources and have children. Studies are interesting because they show that women like partners whose scent matches their dads. This shows how family relationships affect sexual attraction in a subconscious way. Gender dynamics cover a wide range of topics, from the minnings of the stars to close relationships. These results shed light on how people act and stress the importance of creating cultures that are fair, inclusive, and respectful. Various things interest people, for example, women are drawn to happiness and men are drawn to pride. These differences between men and women show how national norms and personal preferences affect how attractive someone is seen to be. Men use distances and directional cues to remember where they are, while women use features and remember where they are. Cognitive differences between men and women show that people navigate spaces differently. Understanding these brain differences sheds light on how men and women behave and talk to each other. For women in particular, psychological stimulation is a key part of personal pleasure. However, this part of sexual satisfaction is often overlooked, which shows how important it is to fully understand each other and communicate clearly in order to have a satisfying relationship. In the 40s, sexual tastes don't change much, which shows how important it is to be able to adapt and understand each other in a close relationship. It's important to have empathy and emotional intelligence in order to have meaningful interactions, just as it's important to communicate clearly and set limits. A 40-year-old woman can find meaning and satisfaction in sexual activity if she is smart, emotionally stable, and sure of herself. Sexual pleasure is multidimensional, mixing mental factors with physical contact to make experiences more intense. People can make their relationship stronger and closer by learning about how women think and feel. This road to understanding leads to more appreciation for each other and stronger bonds based on respect, empathy, and emotional resonance. For women to enjoy sexual encounters, they need to be mentally stimulated, even though it's important. This part of physical pleasure is sometimes forgotten in favor of more obvious changes in the body. But more research into human sexuality shows that psychological factors have a big effect on the quality and happiness of an intimate relationship. As people get older, their sexual tastes change slowly. This change over time shows how important communication, adaptation, and nonverbal cues are for having satisfying sexual encounters. At this time, people want deeper connections and more meaningful experiences. To understand this, they need to have a good understanding of the physical and mental parts of intimacy. Communication that is clear and polite is important for intimate relationships to work. Respecting and honoring each other's limits and wishes leads to trust and closeness, which in turn leads to happiness. Emotional intelligence and being aware of your body language help partners connect more deeply, which makes the sexual experience better. A 40-year-old woman's sex perception and happiness can be greatly affected by her mental health, intelligence, sense of self-worth, and love for herself, when combined with a partner who values and respects her. These traits can bring her closeness, passion, and deep happiness. Stoicism can help you handle close relationships that go beyond personality traits. Stoic ideas encourage people to be self-controlled, moderate, and respectful of themselves and others in all kinds of interactions, even sexual ones. Putting virtue ahead of temporary pleasures helps people figure out what they want and why they want it, which leads to deeper, longer-lasting relationships, psychological stimulation, communication, and philosophy are all things that help us understand intimacy and sexual satisfaction better. A more complete view that takes into account the diversity of human sexuality can help people connect deeper, be happier, and be truly fulfilled in their relationships. Stoicism encourages behavior that is careful and smart. Stoicism says that sexual relationships should be based on open conversation and mutual consent. Stoicism promotes happiness and respect for everyone by focusing on emotional intelligence and knowing your boundaries. Stoicism also stresses how important it is to be at peace with yourself and know yourself in a love relationship. People can enjoy their sexuality and make their relationship stronger by being self-controlled, brave, and empathetic. Stoicism helps people respect and be honest about sex and do the right thing by making them more peaceful and honest inside. 
Stoicism encourages moral sexuality that is pure and thoughtful. It stresses that morals and real connection are what make relationships satisfying. As we wrap up our study, we should think about all the new things we've learned about human behavior, psychology, and relationships. We looked into a lot of topics, such as how women's sexual desires change over time and how attraction and intimacy work. It's your turn to take part. What did you learn from the talk today? It's possible that you had an idea or thought that you want to use. Leave your thoughts below. Please let us know what you think. Remember that having deep conversations and learning with others helps you understand better. If you like this video, please leave a review, like it, share it, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more fun videos. Thank you for being with us as we made this finding. Until next time, stay curious, kind, and interested in the human experience.